hi guys welcome to for the geeks uh, in this video we'll talk about how you can uh, get the image and the signature ready i have created a video wherein i took take you through step by step process for applying oci uh, i will put that uh, link to the video in the description box below uh, but in that video i also mentioned that um, i will create a separate video wherein i will tell you how to create the image and the signature so uh, this video is all about that so initially when i came across this step i was a little not sure because it was a little vague for me and um, then i did spend some time and finally realized how to do it so i thought it would be a good video to make so that it may help anyone who is applying for oci uh, so uh, let's start now so on the OCI website, it clearly states uh, how long the photo has to be and how long the image signature has to be. So if you look at here, it says the photo has to be one is to one. So height has to be one is to one. And the minimum dimensions are 200 into 200. And the maximum dimensions are 1500 into 1500. So what I did for my photographies, uh, or like in this case, my kids' photographies, I go to Australia Post and I do tell them the requirement and um, basically the photo has to be one is to one ratio. Uh, and I get an email copy as well. So um, so that what that helps is like, I will get the, Im the image or the email. I can download it as JPEG and keep it in my machine. So I will uh, show you that now. And the other part is the signature. Signature, what I did is I just took a blank paper and uh, signed. In my kid's case, I just wrote no signature. And then I just took a photo of it, converted to JPEG and saved it on my machine. So on this machine, I have a photo and I have a signature image. And um, then I will edit them as per the requirement. For the signature of the photo, I mean the signature image, the dimensions are 200 into 67 is the minimum width and the maximum dimensions are 1500 into 500. So the main thing is the height is to width ratio is one is to three. That means the width has to be three times more of the height. So uh, let's see that now how I got it. So uh, what I have done here is I have took the backup of the image as well as the signature so that in case while editing something goes wrong, I can revert to the backup image, right? So it's preferred, it's better to take the backup of both of them and put it in another folder. So I right click on the image and go to properties, go to the details and you can see the dimensions are 1056 into 1056. So um, that is quite big. So I thought I will bring it down to smaller size. So what it can be done is you can open the image with paint and click on resize here and there is this option of pixels so i will enter 385 into 385 remember the height is to width has to be one is to one for the photo and 385 is within the guidelines of whatever oci website says so i will save the file now and if i go back to properties again and now you can see it is 385 into 385 pixels now I will go to the signatures property. It is quite big too. And in here I'm opening with paint 3D. So first thing what I'll do is I'll crop the image. So when you click on crop, you will see height and width of the image on the right. The original height and width was much bigger. So what I did is I calculated the uh, width and the height. So height I just gave randomly 742 and the width is three times of that so it is triple to six pixels so in your case whatever height you give the width has to be three times of that and of course the height has to be within the recommended guidelines by the oci website so do look at do look at the oci website look at the recommended height and then calculate the width which is three times of that height so I just brought you back to the website and these two points, the last two points are the recommended height and width for the signature photo. Just thought of reiterating this again as this is quite important. So I enter height and width and then press on done. Uh, and then I like you have to crop it in a way such that it is just over the image signature. And now I open the image in paint. 
and what I do is I again go to resize and go to pixels and I give the height as 161 and the width as 483 uh, so I could have very well done it in MS Paint itself but uh, sorry I mean Paint 3D itself but I just wanted to show you here as well that um, you can do it in Paint too once you have cropped it so just an extra step to let you guys know um, but yeah I mean that is what you have to do with the photo and the signature and then you can just upload both of them like I showed it in my OCI video I uh, hope uh, you guys found this video informative I, I will put the links to the surrender of Indian passport as well as um, applying for OCI card uh, in the description box below so that you can um, just refer those videos in case you need any assistance again like I have been mentioning all this while these videos are just for your help and the hint video things may change uh, when you are actually applying so do read uh, the latest uh, you know specifications rules and all on the official OCI website before you actually apply so if you found this video informative do like it do share it with your friends uh, and of course leave some comments do subscribe my channel if you are not already and thanks for watching bye bye take care